Hello everyone and welcome to today's synthesis workshop. We are delighted to have you here. Today we are joined by Dr. Kenta Ikoi, a postdoctoral researcher in Professor Hans Renata's group at Rice University. He will be presenting on the use of latest nitrogen deletion methods in the enantiomer selective total synthesis of lycoposyramine congeners. With that brief introduction, I now invite Dr. Ikoi to begin his talk. Thank you for your kind introduction and invitation for sharing our work on the total synthesis of lipoceramine congeners. Since the discovery of hyperlysine A as a potent acetylcholine esterase inhibitor, alkaloids from the lycoposyramine plants have gained much interest as a biological and synthetic research subjects. To date, more than 200 lycoposyramine alkaloids have been isolated, and broadly speaking, they can be divided into four major structure classes. The lycosine class the lycopodine class, the phosphamine class, and phlegmalin class. Members of the phlegmalin class include phlegmalin, ceramizine B, ceratosamine E, and lycoposyramines. These lycoposyram alkaloids share common structural features, namely a dihydroquinoline or 5,6,7,8 tetrahydroquinoline core and a pendant piperidine moiety which is oxidized on the nitrogen in lycoposyramine Z and at the 3 position in lycoposyramine W. Diversity within this class is further observed in the stereochemical arrangement of the dihydroquinoline or tetrahydroquinoline moiety, that is 715-cis and 715-trans configurations. Numerous synthetic approaches featuring linear and convergent route have been reported to achieve the total synthesis of phlegmaline alkaloids. In linear synthetic strategies, Takayama's group achieved the total synthesis of lycoposyramine B in 22 steps through ring-closing olefin metathesis with grub scatteries to construct a piperazine ring. They also achieved the total synthesis of lycoposyramine W in 23 steps through samarium iodide-mediated ring construction of the hydroxylated piperazine moiety. Yao and co-workers utilize reductive amination with chiral amine to form the piperazine ring in their total synthesis of lycoposyramine V, which was achieved in 18 steps. In convergent strategy, Brasho and Bon George utilize organ catalyzed Robinson annulation and Azamike reaction to construct the dick hydroquinoline unit. Following HWE olefination with 2 pyrazine methylphosphonate and subsequent pyrazine hydrogenation, achieved the total synthesis of lycoposyramine Z, ceratosamine E, and ceramizine B in 10 to 15 steps. While the benefits of convergent synthesis are well known, their coupling strategies would not be well suitable for the construction of tetrahydroquinoline containing phlegmaline alkaloids, such as lycoposyramine W. Common strategy among their convergent approaches is utilizing a pyrazine synthetic equivalent for the pendant piperazine unit, followed by post fragment coupling and reduction. However, the pyrazine ring in the tetrahydroquinoline moiety will likely present a chemoselective challenge in the reduction step. Their pyrazine hydrogenation was also reported to produce a mixture of epimers at C5. Finally, in the context of lycoposyramine W, it was not immediately clear how this strategy could be readily adjusted to install the C3 alcohol in a stereoselective fashion. To address these issues, we decided to develop a fragment coupling approach to tetrahydroquinoline containing phlegmine alkaloids with outlet stage oxidation state adjustments. We first set our sights on the total synthesis of lycoposyramine W. In our retrosynthesis, the C6 C7 bond connection will be constructed by a late stage fragment coupling between a disubstituted piperazine and tetrahydroquinoline fragment. The hydroxy group at the 4 position on the piperazine fragment will be installed by a biocatalytic CH oxidation of l picolic acid. The pyrazine moiety of the tetrahydroquinoline fragment will be synthesized through pyrazine ring construction of a diketone. Our synthesis started with preparing the piperazine and tetrahydroquinoline fragments for the late stage fragment coupling. The 4 position of l picolic acid was side and stereoselectively functionalized through enzymatic oxidation by an alpha-KG-dependent dioxygenase, FOPYP4H. This gram-scale enzymatic hydroxylation and following bulk protection afforded the hydroxylated picolic acid derivative in 86% over two steps. After the TBS protection of the resulting secondary alcohol, the carboxylic acid moiety was reduced to the corresponding primary alcohol. To broadly examine a variety of late-stage fragment coupling reactions, 
the substrate was further derivatized to several piperazine units, including n methyl substituent, aldehyde, and alkene. Turning our attention to the tetrahydroquinoline fragment, a pyrazyl ketone was synthesized from the 1,3-diketone and propazyl amine by a kappa catalyzed annihilation method in 49% on a multigram scale. This product was used as a diversion point to prepare various tetrahydroquinoline derivatives such as phosphonate, alkene, bromide, and vinyl toluflate. With various piperazine and tetrahydroquinoline fragments in hand, we examine late stage fragment couplings through HWE orphination, orphine metastasis using Grubb's catalyst, NHK reaction, and the deoxygenative close coupling reactions. However, these reactions resulted in either a complex mixture of products or recovery of starting materials. To achieve the desired CC bond construction, we then decided to examine a nitrogen deletion reaction in which a new CC bond is formed from a secondary amine. The mechanism of this skeletal editing reaction includes an encaged dialytical coupling which is generated from a acetylazine intermediate through nitrogen evolution. This reaction was first reported in 1900 by Walsh and Weiss, who oxidized 1,1-dibenzyl hydrazine with mercury oxide to obtain dibenzyl. Based on this reaction mechanism, researchers have recently developed a nitrogen addition reaction as a new CC bond forming method from a secondary amine by using various nitrogen transfer reagents. Levin and co-workers utilize an anomeric amide that reacts with a secondary amine followed by a reductive elimination of benzoid ester to afford the isodiazine intermediate. Liu's group reported nitrogen deletion reactions of n cycle with sulfamol azide. The mechanism includes cruteus type rearrangement to produce the isodiazine intermediate. They also utilized o phosphenyl hydroxyl amine as a nitrogen transfer reagent to generate the isotiazine species through a dialkyl triazonium intermediate. Finally, Anton Chick and co-workers utilize phenyl yod nitrine, which is formed in situ from hypervalent iodine reagent and ammonium carbamate, and reported nitrogen deletion reactions of substituted proline esters. Importantly, some of these reactions have been reported to proceed in a stereospecific manner and maintain the stereochemistry of the nitrogen deletion precursor. Translating this skeletal editing idea to our total synthesis, the desired CC coupling product will be obtained from the nitrogen deletion of the corresponding secondary amine, which will be accessed from the aldehyde of the piperazine fragment and the chiral amine of the tetrahydroquinoline fragment through reductive amination. To obtain the chiral amine, the prezyl ketone was subjected to an asymmetric reaction using noyris ruthenium catalyst in the presence of formic acid and triethylamine. This reaction provided two separable diastereomers and the structure of one diastereomer was confirmed by X-ray crystallography. Stereoinvertive azyl displacement of the resulting alcohol under Mitsnov conditions and the subsequent hydrogenation gave the desired optically pure amine. Although the desired chiral amine was obtained, separating two diastereomers in asymmetric reduction step was highly challenging, indicating this rule would not be suitable for the large-scale reaction. Therefore, we decided to explore a different route to the chiral amine. A second-generation synthesis was commenced with a retroaldo reaction on our polygon under an aqueous acidic condition, which afforded a chiral 3 methylcyclohexanone. This chiral ketone was subjected to the kappa catalyzed prison synthesis with propagyl amine to obtain a mixture of 20 and 21 with 3 to 1 ratio. Chemocatalytic benzylic oxidation of 20 using manganese acetate in the presence of tertiary butyl hydrogen peroxide provided the desired prison ketone in 41%. Oxin formation with O benzyl hydroxyl amine and subsequent hydrogenation gave the desired chiral amine in 66% with a DL of 20 to 1 on a gram scale. Finally, reductive amination with the aldehyde of the piperazine fragment was conducted to obtain the nitrogen deletion precursor in 186% as a single diastereomer. With the precursor in hand, we examine the proposed nitrogen deletion strategy with various nitrogen transfer reagents. 
in initial results. The desired product could not be observed with the anomeric amide, sulfamoyl azide, and hypervalent iodine reagent HDIB. However, switching HDIB to its methyl oxysubstituent 22B provided an initial hit of the desired nitrogen deletion product in 4%, while the use of DPPH also proceeded with the reaction. The product was obtained as a mixture of diastereomers. Further optimization of reaction parameters was performed, including equivalence of the hypervalent iodine reagent, temperature, and reaction time. Finally, we identified lowering the reaction temperature and adding the iodine reagent dropwise in the solvent provided the product in 29%, which further improved to 51% upon conducting the reaction on 0.1 mm scale. Notably, the product was obtained as a single diastereomer, suggesting a complete transfer of the stereochemical information of the precursor. Since the desired nitrogen deletion product was obtained as a single diastereomer, bulk deprotection, and methylation, and TBS deprotection under acidic conditions were performed. To complete our total synthesis of lycopsilamine W in 10 steps longest linear sequence, we next examine whether late stage nitrogen deletion strategy could be applied to other tetrahydroquinoline containing phlegmonic alkaloids, such as lycopsilamine B. A chiral piperazine fragment was prepared from the corresponding carboxylic acid and reacted with the chiral prezine amine fragment to obtain a nitrogen deletion precursor. The nitrogen deletion reaction of this substrate was successfully delivered by using DPPH as a nitrogen transfer reagent, and subsequent bulk protection accomplished the total synthesis of lycopsilamine V in 8 steps. Finally, the established strategy was also applied to the synthesis of 5 epimer of lycopsilamine V and 15 epimer of lycopsilamine W. By starting from the corresponding stereoisomers of the coupling product and the appropriate nitrogen deletion conditions. In conclusion, we demonstrated the utility of nitrogen deletion strategy in the total synthesis of phlegmalin type lycoposim alkaloids and their epimers. The strategy established in this work enabled enantioselective, convergent, and straightforward synthesis of a complex molecules, starting from readily available chiral substrate through biocatalytic and chemocatalytic transformations. The concept of this study would inspire simplified strategies for complex molecule synthesis. Finally, I'd like to express my sincere to Dr. Hans Renater and his laboratory members for valuable support and discussion on this project. We are also grateful to financial support from foundations. If you are interested in this work, please visit the publication website of Nature Communications. Thank you for your kind attention. Thank you Dr. Ikui for the wonderful talk. If you enjoyed this session, please like the video and follow Synthesis Workshop for more exciting content. We look forward to seeing you in the next session.